Boston Dynamics just gave Atlas something it has never had before, a brain. For years, we've seen the robot leap, flip, and run through obstacle courses like a futuristic gymnast. But what we've just entered is a whole new stage. Atlas is no longer just a robot executing carefully coded movements. Now it's running on a large behavior model, a system that lets it learn skills by watching and imitating, much like a human child. Before, engineers had to spend weeks programming Atlas to do even a single new action. Every step, every turn of its wrist, every lift of a leg had to be meticulously coded, line by line. But with this new system, Boston Dynamics and its partner Toyota Research Institute can simply show Atlas what to do, and it figures it out. The robot doesn't just copy, it adapts. In a demonstration, researchers gave Atlas a continuous sequence of tasks. It walked, crouched, lifted boxes, sorted objects, and organized items with a level of smoothness we've never seen before. At one point, the researchers even tried to trick it. They closed a box mid-task and slid it across the floor. Instead of freezing up or failing, Atlas adjusted its entire plan on the fly. That's something previous humanoid robots could never do, because their movements were always separated. One system controlled the legs, another system controlled the arms, and each operated independently. Atlas, with its new brain, treats its body as a whole. Hands and feet aren't separate tools anymore, they're part of one unified machine. This is the result of a partnership formed back in October 2024 between Boston Dynamics and TRRI. Scott Kundersma, Vice President of Robotics Research at Boston Dynamics, explained it simply. By training a single neural network to control the entire robot, it can perform long, complicated tasks much more efficiently. Instead of being trapped in rigid programming, Atlas gains generalization. Russ Ted Drake from TRRI added that this approach finally solves the scaling problem. Traditional coding for humanoids could never keep up with the complexity of human environments. But with large behavior models, adding new skills gets faster and faster. Over time, the robot will need fewer demonstrations to perform harder tasks. This is the direction humanoids are going. Whole body intelligence, large scale models, and the ability to adapt to unpredictable situations. And Boston Dynamics isn't the only player in this race. In China, Unitree has been making waves of its own. Known already for some of the most advanced bipedal robots, they're now teasing their first full-sized humanoid. This robot will stand at 180 centimeters, basically human height, and will have 31 joints. That number may sound small, but each degree of freedom in a robot means a new layer of control and flexibility. With 31 of them, Unitree's humanoid will be able to walk, balance, and manipulate objects with far greater precision. They haven't released a date yet, but considering how quickly Unitree pushed out the R1 and G1 robots, this one might not be far off. And the fact that they're investing in a humanoid this size shows just how serious they are about dominating this field. Meanwhile, in the United States, another contender has stepped forward, and they might just be the most exciting one yet. The company is called Figure, founded by Brett Adcock. Earlier this year, people were already impressed when two figure robots were seen unpacking groceries together. But what came next shocked the robotics community. Figure revealed a new walking controller called Helix. Adcock didn't hold back when he described it. He called it unstoppable. And the footage backed up the claim. In the demo, the Figure 02 robot walked into obstacles most humans would struggle with. First a curb, then uneven terrain covered with plants, then a wooden pallet where it actually caught its toe. Instead of tumbling down, the robot stumbled, corrected itself, and kept walking. Then it crossed wobbly boards, stepped on a fragile fluorescent bulb that shattered under its foot, and just kept going. What's even more impressive? The robot did all of this blind. Its cameras were switched off. It wasn't relying on vision. It was relying entirely on its sensors and balance. That's reinforcement learning in action. Every time the robot attempts something, it gets better at it. Adcock said that in some areas, their robots have already reached superhuman levels of walking. Watching it recover from tripping hazards better than most people would, you can see what he means. And while the US and China push forward, South Korea has entered the competition with a very different approach. WI Robotics unveiled Alex, 
short for All Experience. Unlike the heavy, power-focused humanoids, Alex is about muscle-like precision. It has 15 degrees of freedom, but what makes it unique is the way it responds to force and impact. Alex can detect even the tiniest forces down to 100 grams without tactile sensors. At the same time, it can apply enough fingertip pressure to match human strength. The design is remarkably efficient. Its arm system has 10 times less friction and rotational inertia than typical collaborative robots, which makes its movement smoother and more lifelike. It also includes a gravity compensation mechanism in the upper body, allowing it to handle heavy tasks without wasting energy or straining its structure. And despite being lightweight, just 700 grams for the hand and 5 kilograms for the shoulder assembly, Alex can lift over 3 kilograms with one hand. For comparison, much larger robots like Agility Robotics Digit can carry about 40 pounds but weigh well over 100 pounds themselves. Alex isn't competing in brute force. Instead, it's built for delicate, interactive environments like healthcare and elder care. This lightweight, modular design means it can be customized depending on the task. The project is a collaboration between several global institutions, including MIT, UMass, and Maxon. The vision is clear. By 2030, Alex should be ready as a general-purpose humanoid for daily life. Not to be left out, Taiwan has entered the race too. Techman Robot, a subsidiary of Quanta Computer, introduced TM Explore 2. This humanoid is different in its mobility. It moves on wheels rather than legs. But what makes it powerful is its brain, NVIDIA's Jetson Orin platform, which gives it advanced AI processing at the edge. TM Explore 2 mimics human-like actions using 22 switches that control its movements. The prototype was showcased at the Taiwan Automation and Robot Show in Taipei. For now, Techman is testing it internally at its own plants, but they expect to launch it publicly in the second half of next year. Financially, Techman has had a mixed year. In the first half, sales reached about 29 million US dollars, a 16% increase compared to last year. But despite the growth, they posted a net loss, partly because of currency fluctuations. Still, their global reach is expanding, with sales in China, Europe, and the US, and plans to set up production hubs in Mexico or the US if needed. All of this shows one thing, the race for humanoids is heating up fast. Boston Dynamics gave Atlas a brain, Unitree is building a human height machine with 31 joints, Figure has proven its robots can walk blind and recover like humans, South Korea's Alex is bringing muscle-like precision to delicate environments, and Techman is pushing AI-powered humanoids into factories and beyond. The next 12 months could reshape the field entirely. These aren't just experimental machines anymore. They're becoming capable, general-purpose workers that might soon share our environments, our homes, and even our workplaces. The real question isn't whether humanoids are coming, it's which company will lead the charge. If you've made it this far, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Which robot do you think is ahead in this race? And how do you feel about humanoids becoming part of our everyday world? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy keeping up with the latest in AI and robotics, make sure to hit that subscribe button. There's so much more coming and you won't want to miss it. How do you feel about humanoids becoming part of our everyday world? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy keeping up with the latest in AI and robotics, make sure to hit that subscribe button. There's so much more coming and you won't want to miss it.